Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Marisika Aqua and today I'm going to be talking about young African teenagers with a pan-African mindset. What do you think of a pan-Africanist? What do you think about? What do you think pan-Africanism is all about? Share with me what you think pan-Africanism is all about. Me, personally, I think pan-Africanism is first of all identifying that we are African and we are proud African. Being a proud African meaning not bleaching our skin, having our natural hair, no chemicals in our hair. It means loving ourselves, loving our countries, loving our continents, loving other African people. Africans shouldn't think that we are better than other Africans. We are all one. We all have the same skin. We are one. We shouldn't think we are better than anyone. Pan Africanists should identify the problems with Africa, talk to other Africans about this problem, and find ways to solve the problems. As Africans, we can't just identify that, oh, we have this problem. Like today, there has been some serious floods in Ghana. Thinking about this, we are like, okay, these floods are bad, so how can we stop them? Forgive me for my hair. How can we come up with a good drainage system to stop these floods from happening? These are the stuff Pan-Africanists should think about. We shouldn't say, oh, the government won't do this, the government shouldn't do that. Listen, there's so much the government can do. Sometimes we just have to forget about the government bring our knowledge together and build our country and our continent as a whole in this video i'm actually going to be styling my hair i'm going to be making a productive style i'm just going to twist my hair and i'll be talking about like what it means to be a pan-africanist and why it's so important to be a pan-africanist as a young african let's get right into the video so this is my hair it's freshly washed and conditioned and I'm about to do my protective style. I'm going to be using two products today. I already have my leave-in conditioner in it. It was, um, the product is Camille Rose Naturals Kids Leave-In Conditioner. That's what I use. Why kids? Because it's affordable and it makes my hair so too. Why not? Yeah. So I'm going to be using this Camille Rose Naturals Honey Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner and this hair mousse from Lotta Body. Okay. I used to be very light-skinned when I was younger and I remember that I used to play a lot outside and we were in Africa so of course I'll be exposed to the sun and I'd get a little darker with time and people would ask me that why am I getting so dark what cream am I using I should go back to what I was using before I should I should maintain my light skin like it was some kind of precious thing to have or something and I always didn't get it and I remember that when I started staying inside more and I, be, I started becoming lighter people say oh your skin color is looking so nice. What, what, is, what was? God have mercy upon us. <laughs> People told me my skin color was looking so nice. What was I using? They wanted to use some so their skin would look like mine. And I didn't get it. Cause I feel like ever since I was young, I was a Pan-Africanist, but I just didn't know it. I just didn't realize it. And so I was just always confused. I didn't get it. And then it got to a point that I actually accidentally bleached my skin. Yay! Yes, guys, this happens. African women accidentally bleach our skin. There are so many creams that are actually bleaching creams, but they don't look like it. I remember using this cocoa butter called Kings, Kingsley Cocoa Butter. I think that was what it was called. And I didn't realize that it was bleaching my skin. So... One time I went to school and my fancy teacher asked me that, she asked me whether I was bleaching my skin and I said, no, I'm not bleaching my skin. I just use cocoa butter. And why you were to be in Adam, Who could do that when you're
Unya style. When you put your in Adam. So my fancy teacher asked me whether I was bleaching my skin, and I said no. I'm not bleaching my skin. I'll never bleach my skin. I just use cocoa butter. I've been light skinned since childhood, and I guess it was the rainy season, so the sun wasn't shining that much. And I was like, I guess it's just because the sun hasn't been out. That's why my color is coming back. Not knowing I was actually bleaching my skin. When I found out that I was bleaching it, I went home and I threw the cream away. And since then, I was in seventh grade, I think. Since then, I started. I and since then, I've been using shea butter ever since. Cause, like, what is the point of bleaching my skin to look so ugly and disgusting? Why I can have beautiful skin with shea butter? Shea butter is even way cheaper in Ghana, in in Africa, than all those creams that have bleaching chemicals in them. As we are talking about bleaching of skin, let's talk about hair sister, relaxing hair. Now, look at my hair. I've been natural for about two years now, and this is my curl pattern. I am not mixed race or anything. I am full African. My mom is full Ghanaian. My dad is also full Ghanaian, but I apparently have some loose curl pattern for some reason. I don't know, but I love it. It's beautiful and tighter curls are also beautiful. But why is relaxing of hair so, so common? Like this one is actually so sad because I mean, bleaching in Africa, we most of us know that oh it's bad and most of us are against it but people there are people who are preaching about natural hair but there are people who just don't seem to get it like i remember about four years ago there were so many people who started going natural in ghana because they thought it looked so nice and stuff and yes i was so happy yes let's we were embracing our african beauty but then my mom was just telling me that so many people are going back to relax hair because they cannot take care of their natural hair and it's making them look like men and stuff. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so sad. See, natural hair is not by force, but you should know that that is how your hair is supposed to be. When you were born, that is how God made your hair. So why do you want to alter, not even alter, why do you want to destroy your curls? Because those relaxing creams, that's that's all they do. They just destroy our curls and make them look so dry and frizzy. Look, we are the only ones who have this beautiful hair. Beautiful black curly hair. So why are we destroying our curly, our curls and our kinks? Why are we destroying them? We should... We should throw those relaxing creams away. Our natural hair is beautiful and people are like, oh, natural hair is so difficult to handle and this and that. But it's really not. In the olden days, that's all they had, natural hair, and they had beautiful hair. I remember looking at my grandma's pictures. She had beautiful, long, healthy, natural hair. And that was how they lived. There are so many things they used that because we thought we wanted to be so westernized, we didn't learn from them and now... They are dead and gone and we don't have that knowledge to use for our hair but listen there's the secrets are still there shea butter is great for our hair look this is my hair saturated in shea butter and honey and it's looking so mwah. you can't tell me that natural hair is unmanageable you can manage your natural hair you just have to learn how to do it and it doesn't even have to be expensive Shea butter, just go to Ghana, just go to Northern Ghana and buy your shea butter. Get some moisture, some aloe vera into your hair and your hair will be fine. Natural hair isn't difficult and natural hair is not a trend. It is a lifestyle. It is a mindset. I hope you enjoyed this content and I hope you enjoyed this particular conversation. Let's remember to embrace our African beauty and remember that Obranya warapo. Life is how you make it. Bye bye.